KDP is changing. Have you ever struggled to find a keyword and thought, oh, this is just a matter of luck, I'm losing my time and money. But I successfully created a self-publishing business and I still think that almost every time. Well, today I'm gonna tell you what's happening with keyword research in 2023, then we will analyze together some keywords in screen sharing and stay until the end of the video because I'll tell you what you should look for in a keyword and how I decide if a niche is profitable or not. So let's get started. Well, when I started self-publishing on KDP in 2020, all the courses back then were teaching precise parameters of profitability and competition for keywords to fulfill to be used as precise titles for our books. And subtitles had to be SEO optimized as well. And this is very true to an extent because Amazon is changing. So today I'll tell you this. Are parameters and perfect keywords optimization really important anymore in keyword research? And if you don't know anything about keyword research, this may seem very complicated, but it's actually very easy. I'll tell you what keyword research is just in a sentence. Well, it's the part of the process where a publisher looks on Amazon what titles, therefore keywords, drive more sales with the least competition to make books with the most chances to succeed, sell and become profitable over time. Now, if you already have started publishing books, you surely are in either one of these three categories. Number one, you aren't doing keyword research at all. Number two, you are doing keyword research following parameters and stuff, but it takes ages. And number three, you are doing keyword research on a case by case basis being more flexible about parameters. Well, if you are part of the first group, unless you do this for passion, you need to understand that each business to be successful needs a plan, a strategy. So keyword research is very important if you want to know in advance if there is a demand for your book and if the demand is already fulfilled by too many books. Well, if you are part of the second group, you might struggle to keep doing keyword research you may feel overwhelmed. All the keywords you find might not be fine. Too much competition, too many reviews. You get what I mean, and sure. You may think KDP is not worth it anymore in 2023, especially on the US market. And finally, if you are part of the third group, then you are moving beyond keywords. The pattern is not anymore about metrics, you know, like, oh, I need 1000 or less competitors, X profitable books in the same niche, review under Y or such. I mean, all those data are still valid, but they are not the point of a successful keyword research anymore. And I think this is a winning approach in the long term, but let's see together how we can use this strategy to our advantage. So let's go over on amazon.com and look for a book about dog training. All right, here I found not just books. So let's try to be more specific. I could go into the book category here, but I believe people just stay on all. So this is more real. All the data you can see here are from the Helium 10 Chrome extension, which is free and very useful. All right, actually the number of results, which 10,000 may be really too much, but just, just look a bit at these books first. This book, Dog Training Revolution, is really selling a lot. You can tell from the ranking. And this author really looks like the authority in this niche with two best-selling books, basically. So something else we can have a look to is the title. Here we have the keyword, here we have the keyword on training Bible, non-nonsense dog training. Here we don't have the keyword, for example. Training the best dog is, is a little bit different. Raise the perfect dog is different. 101 dog tricks is different. This is the same order with a different keyword. Dog training, this is nice. Okay, so not every book in the first page has the keyword dog training, but so we have said that 10,000 is really too much. So let's try to narrow it a bit. If I look and I go over here, Ilium 10 is going to suggest me what I could uh, uh, put here, like to narrow the research a bit. And uh, I like this one, dog training books for adult dogs. Cool. Again, we have the, the, the dog training revolution guide, the dog training for kids, which is sponsored as well. And then we have the very same author with another book, which is doing reasonably well, even if it's not, yeah, not good as the first one, but still very, very good. This is interesting. 
Respect training for adult dogs. 30 seconds to a calm, polite, well-behaved dog. I don't see here like the specifically the keyword dog training. You know what I mean? I looked for dog training books for adult dogs. So I kind of was expecting a book like in the first position to be called dog training for adult dogs. And actually before this one, like I have guide to a well-behaved dog which is not dog training for adult dog, dog training for kids, which is sponsored, so it doesn't really count, and dog training revolution, which is sponsored as well, so it doesn't really count. So we could almost tell that this book is second in uh, ranking for the keyword dog training books for adult dogs. After we have training the best dog ever, which is not really about adult dogs, and uh, yeah, same here. This actually is a four week program for all ages. So again, I was looking for a book about adult dogs and this gave me this book, which is for all ages, which is almost like Amazon knows that all ages include adult dogs. You know what I mean? Here, from puppy to adult, but here we have the keyword adult at least. Here we don't, we don't even have, which is interesting. And this book is not doing very, very well. Like, it's, it's doing well, of course, but not as like the first ones. This is, come on, 5,000 in books. This is doing reasonably well. 11,000 in books, 6,000 in books. This is incredible. 1,000 in books. But this is the book I'm most interested at. If you see, like the price is 16.95, which is fairly high, I mean, on the higher side. Like here, the question for me could be, am I able to make a book more interesting than this book here for people? Because this book, I think it still sells something, but it's not like a perfect, I mean, the cover is nice, clean, but there is some room for improvement, I think, especially with the perhaps font or title or something like that. The number of review is high, but it's not as high as 2,500. For example, normally, like if I were to follow like parameters and stuff, I would think, okay, this is not, not, not the case. Like there is really too much competition. Like uh, there is all odors in there, real odors. Like th th this is not for me. But then I found a sub niche, which is training books for adult dogs. And there is a book, which is, in my opinion, a well done book, but not a absolutely perfect book that I could be able like to, let's not say beat, but compete with. So do you think you could make a book with the keyword dog training for adult dogs and win the competition against those books we just saw? Maybe yes, maybe no, who can tell you? just you. No one knows your publishing process better than you. Also, as far as I know, Amazon is changing algorithm and now it's more capable of understanding the topic of a book thanks to searches and sales. And it's interesting that we actually searched for a book about dog training for adult dogs and we found a book called Dog Training for All Ages. It's like Amazon knew it was related, even if it's a different keyword. And the performance of a book influences the ranking more than ever. If the book sells consistently, over time, Amazon will increase its ranking in multiple related keywords, which is something you really would want to. And we clearly had a proof about that because the best selling books were showing even in our sub niche, even if the book title was different. So are keywords useless? Do keywords mean nothing? Not at all. What I think is that you shouldn't be so strict with keyword research and whatever parameters of profitability you are considering, but you should try to understand as much as you can why a book is selling, why people like it, what the winning factors are and how you could implement them in your book without simply being a copy. To model something is right, to copy something is wrong, of course. And I believe that we are going in a direction where the overall book presentation beats keyword optimization. Because you can always use the Amazon ads campaigns to send more traffic to the book, generating more sales, increasing the organic rank as well in the long term. So ultimately, what should I look for in a keyword? Number one, is there enough demand for this keyword? 
which means are people buying those books? And if I want to be sure, I can actually use a tool like Illum 10 to check the monthly searches. The extension that I was using previously is free for everyone, but to check the monthly searches on Amazon, you need a subscription plan. Can I create a better book than the competition? A more interesting book or a better cover, a better presentation? Can I generate a good number of review fast enough and if the answer is yes to this question as well, all the stars are aligned, then I'm going to produce the book. But at that point, I know exactly which books I'm competing with. And perhaps I can make a book which is a bit less nice than the first and the second in the list, but that is more interesting than the third and the fourth ones. Or perhaps I am in a niche where all the books sell a bit, but all of them have a terrible cover design, so I can publish a new book with a better cover design and perhaps get all the sales. With Amazon evolving, our keyword research process should evolve as well, from a parameters base to a case-by-case -case basis, where our experience and confidence in what we can achieve play a significant role in our plans. And remember, what is profitable for someone may not be profitable for someone else. So when you are sure that there is a demand and interest in a niche, ask yourself honestly if you would be confident in making a winning product. If you make a book for the software, the software of today will reward you. But the software is changing fast, while if you make a book for the people, the people of today and tomorrow will reward you even more. So the things to prioritize are the book presentation to make the book interesting to people and the ads campaign to present your book to as many people as possible. And to help you in this journey to success, I made this super easy but effective Amazon ads training. So check this video here to learn this very easy strategy that helped me to multiply my income. Take care.